Hey everybody! Hey everybody! Hope you're doing well. So here I am in, in between Daytona Beach and Jacksonville, Florida. And I've made it this far and I'm pretty excited about it. Um, so this is the first time that I've ever driven this far, which is about 2,000 miles from my house in Texas. And I got a good little truck and I feel good about it. Um, but it was just not happening that I was going to get on Spirit Airlines. When they tell you it's Spirit Airlines, they don't tell you what spirit it is. They just tell you Spirit Airlines. Well, I got news for you. I don't think it's the Spirit of the Lord because, man, that place is a ball of snakes. Anyway, they don't know what they're doing. So, um, anyway, for a couple of reasons, Spirit Airlines charged my account four times for one ticket. And then I thought I got that rectified. And then um, I got another ticket at a different price. And then Saturday, before I was supposed to be in Fort Lauderdale on Monday, they refunded my ticket, my actual ticket. So anyway, I had no choice but to drive. So it was a good time for me to test the waters with my little truck and test the waters for me because I was really afraid to do this. And I'm less afraid now. But I got to tell you that, you know, if you don't ever step out in fear, you never grow. And if you don't ever do things that are scary, you know, well calculated and planned, but if you don't do things that are scary, you don't have a very good texture of life. And this has been a pretty uneventful trip, which I'm pretty happy about. Um, but, you know, maybe exciting things will happen when I get there to, for the meeting. Um, and I'm not looking for excitement. I'm looking for... I don't know what I'm looking for. You know, I told God on the way out here that I want to go home. And God said, that's exactly why you're going to Fort Lauderdale. Because you got to be happy to leave your house again. And after my business um, closed and I had to fight for it in court. And then it was three years, you know, plus sofa surfing and living in my truck and living in cheap hotels and stuff. It kind of took all the joy out of travel in hotels for me. So this is God saying, get back on the horse that bucked you. So I'm getting back on the horse that bucked me. Anyway, I'm doing okay. I'm doing good. I love you all. Um, my women, gals, my older women, my goddess gals, step out in faith and do something that is scary because it, it's expanding. It'll give you confidence. And, and part of the reason we feel invisible is because we feel invisible to ourselves. Well, don't be invisible to yourself. Do something beautiful. Do something that's invigorating, slightly scary, well calculated, and make sure someone always knows where you are. But step out in faith. Anyway, just wanted to say that. And I hope everybody's doing good. And um, I'll talk to you all later.